Well, the first woman to officially run Boston hit the streets again. It has been 50 years since Katherine Switzer ran her first Boston Marathon. And today she ran again alongside thousands of women. WBC's Ken McLeod is live in Boston tonight with a special honor for her following the race. It was a special moment. Ken? Paula, Bib 261, the number she wore way back then and again today, has now been retired by the Boston Athletic Association in tribute to Katherine Switzer. Now, she took to the course today with the shadows of 1967 seemingly a long way off. Who could ever imagine 50 years ago I was here? And now look at this. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. Catherine Switzer got a lot more attention at the starting line this time around, but saved some reflection for the finish. It was a definitive moment in my life. Mm -hmm. um, I started that race as a girl. I finished as a grown woman. She's talking about 1967, of course, when the marathon was men only, and she grabbed bib number 261 as a college student under the name K.V. Switzer. My coach and I looked at the rule book. Nothing was about gender. So he said, come on, other women are afraid. You can do this. She slipped away from Hopkinton undetected a half century ago as the first woman to officially run the Boston Marathon. And when race official Jock Semple angrily tried to snatch her number a mile in, her boyfriend knocked him aside. She and Semple would wind up friends. Yeah, it was amazing. You know, uh, life is too short not to forgive, and he actually came around. But helping to kick open the door for women runners was just the start for Switzer, who returned to the marathon today as part of 261 Fearless, the group she founded to help empower women worldwide. So we're really going to change women's lives in a big way. And as she chugged down Boylston Street this afternoon, she vowed to never forget where it all began. It's the streets of Boston who propelled us to where we are today. And at age 70, running her final Boston, Catherine Switzer is still looking toward the future. All of this happened in 50 years. Imagine what's going to happen in the next 50 years. Switzer also hopes to run the New York Marathon coming up in November, but next April she will likely be back in the WBZ broadcast booth as a Boston Marathon commentator. Live on Boylston Street tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.